So I'm going to call this tutorial part two to the walk and talk tutorial that I did. And here I have two characters talking and then they walk off in different directions. So I thought I would show you how, I, how you can do that. And it might spark some other ideas that you could have for using some of these rotations with the 360 characters. So I'm going to grab Lenka. I'm going to put her here. I'm going to have her a little bit closer, but I just want us to have the two to compare. And what I used for her is I used the talking action. And when we have the talking action, when we disable the start, she's facing this way. So I am going to just rotate her so that she's facing the character that we're going to put on there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Tom. And I'm going to put him a little further away right here just so that they're not overlapping too much. But clearly I would have him closer, but I do still feel like I have to scale him a little bit so that he is somewhat taller than Lenka. And here I used the listening. So I'm going to grab listening. But when we see this, I am going to disable the start as well. But when we see this, he's facing in the wrong direction. So I'm going to go to properties and just flip horizontal. And there we go. And I didn't do any other adjusting. You certainly can do some rotating if you want. If you want him to be a little bit more turn towards her. You can do whatever you want with that. So now we have Tom looking and Lenka talking. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to animate them both walking. So I'm going to add walking to Lenka and to Tom. All right. I am going to bring walking down a little closer. And the reason being is I don't want to extend the talking and having him walk away after she's already walked away would be a little bit weird. Sometimes when you shorten the actions, it can cause the characters to move really fast. There's no real way to shorten the action without cutting out some of the movement in that action. But when he's going sideways, I didn't find that it made a big, it, it didn't look too bad. You really couldn't notice it too much, but let's see. He's nodding and putting his hand up, but you're not really seeing a lot of jerky movement. I think that you normally might see if he was facing the camera. All right. So what we're going to do is here, when we look at Lenka, and she's turned in that position of listening. I don't even have to do anything to have them to have her rotate. And the reason being is she was just moving back to the original orientation of that action that was already there. So I don't even have to do anything with her to have her walking. I forgot I had waving because I knew I did some actions with her. So let me add wave. So here we go with her and she's walking forward. Looks pretty good. I might animate a little bit of a yeah add animation a little bit of a scale so that she's getting a little bit larger as she's going towards the cam um towards us so I can that's the wrong one I don't want to do that she already was big it is this link that we haven't done so I can blow her up a little bit and have her move forward like that. 
Now, the problem here is as she goes into the wave. Here, she's turning because she, that's what the, the natural start of that would be. So I'm actually forgetting what I did. So I want to see. I can look, but I'm going to see. And here for walking, um, I did disable the end there as well. Good. I have to practice it each time. And then I need to add an animation for character view so that she doesn't flip to the other side. So she's not facing that way. And here I can just do the reset again. So now she only needed one of the rotations for the character view. But now we have Tom going the wrong way. I am actually just going to right now hide those. I was thinking in my head as I was talking, I was going to move them, but I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to hide them right now. So here, as Tom is going from the listening action to the walking, I need some animations because if I don't put anything on there, he's going to walk into the pole. <laughs> That's not really a good idea. So what we're going to do here is we're going to watch Tom right here. And as he starts to move in a turning motion right there, I'm going to add an animation and I'm going to do character view. And I want it to be, we're probably going to have to time this a little bit, but let's see right here. Right at the end keyframe, I'm going to click rotate. Whoop. And I'm going to turn him to the back. He's still a little bit, let's see. All right, that looks pretty good, right? So let's look at from here. Good. So now all we have to do is he rotated. And as soon as he's done rotating, we want to move him towards the back. So I'm going to again add an animation of position and scale and linear. I'm going to move it and then I need to, I forgot to turn off rotate and I'm very proud I remembered before I actually resized him. I am going to resize him and move him as if he's walked towards the back of the seam. Let's see. And he kind of is a slow walker, but that's because the action was so long. So we might want to shorten that and then it won't take him as long to go back there. But as you can see, when I shorten it, he automatically turns. So we would want to disable the end and then he doesn't turn like that. So there's an up. Uh, let me show Lenka. And let me hide the back. I've got three toms going because I had another one I was practicing on. All right, let's see. I'm going to move our characters together. And we'll see how that looks. So you can add different kinds of animations that you'll have them kind of have a conversation, then come forward. 
So I actually just stopped and deleted a portion because I started to do something else. And maybe I'll make another tutorial on that, but it got really confusing. And I don't know why I do that because I get ideas. But I hope this gave you some more ideas and I would love to see what you make and give me any more ideas in the comment section below. Have fun.